This video will outline how to write a VBA macro which will seamlessly select a changing data range. Firstly, open up Visual Basic Editor and insert a module to compose the macro. It's advisable to compose a short header, a title and notation of the macro which will immediately explain to macro users the macro's purpose. Remember, any notation in green in Visual Basic Editor like this will not be part of the code. Ensure to give the macro a short yet explanatory name to users. This macro is called Dynamic Range. Before we write the code, it is recommended to enhance the speed and efficiency of the macro by disabling the following three Excel object applications. These are the calculation, enable events and screen updating objects which will be reactivated once the macro has run. It is a great habit to notate each area of the code in a macro. Next, we must declare the macros variable via the use of the dim statement, an abbreviation of dimension. Try to use short yet self-explanatory variable names. By adding the set property to the macros objects, it will streamline the detail of code and optimize the macros performance time. Here we will set the WS variable to sheet one and the start cell variable to range B4. Locating the last row and column of the data range in a dynamic way will determine the macro's overall value. Applying the last row variable together with the WS variable will permit the macro to count the number of rows thanks to the end Excel up syntax. End means the macro finds the last cell in that range and XL up goes up the column until it finds the first non-blank cell. Repeat the above in order to identify the last column in the range.
the macro is now able to dynamically locate the last row and column of data based on the start cell variable followed by the last row and last call variables. The final piece is the code to select changing ranges of data, leveraging the above last row and last call variables. The macro is now complete and therefore the earlier disabled Excel features of calculation, enable events and screen updating can be re-enabled. Let's save and close out of VBA editor and test the macro to guarantee it can dynamically select fluctuating data ranges. We will add a form control button and assign the macro to this button, dynamic range. As we can see, the macro is selecting the data array. Even if we include new rows and columns of trade data, the macro still works and adjusts accordingly. Finally, we'll clear the data from the array and observe the macros for value.